YouTubers, part two, where we left last week. Um, he's come watch these in a row. Sorry about the quality of the the call. It's just, you know, we're getting these calls from inside prison in America. It's not um not like a normal phone call, you know, these are monitored phone calls, so they go through a lot of lot of places, they they get listened to and all that shit. Um we're lucky to have this inside information. He's gonna he's gonna take us right up to date to where he is now, the things that are happening right now inside prison, um, updates like, you know, you just wanna hear about about jails and, and what it's like in there, like they're fucking terrible. They're fucking terrible, you know. As much as people might say, "Oh, Australia's not as bad as America," America's not as bad as Mexico. Does that mean that they're not bad? Does, you know what I mean? <laughs> fucking Australia's worse than Sweden. Does that mean that people don't get bashed or stabbed in Sweden jail? Like, you know I mean, just it's or Switzerland, whatever. You know, like it's just it's, it's stupid. You know, bad is bad and good is good. Um, this, but like where these guys are, these Mexicans, bro, fucking crazy bro hectic and they get led into that life they get brought into that life like you heard last week um or the last one that just dropped so we're going to hear hear a bit more from him he's he's we're only up to age 12 or 13 like this guy has lived and it's all paperwork got all the paperwork got stories with his name in them um yeah very very well known over there a lot of people lot yeah fucking very well known very well known been in um like serenio's la ma fucking um south siders baker street uh, so yeah, if you want to Google that, I know last time he mentioned that you can Google it, the Baker Street Gang Fullerton, and um, check him out, see what's up with that, and then we'll um, we'll check him out, follow all his channels, that I'll drop them below, thanks everyone. He's back now. Yeah, so he got jumped in for 13, which is a long, long time in a street fight. Let's call and we're going to get part two now. Monitored and recorded. We'll have a prepaid call. You will not be charged for this call. To accept this call, say or dial five now. Five. To refuse, hang up now or stay on the line for additional options. To hear the billing rates for this call, say or dial nine. Thank you for using Global Tail Link. Yo, Tommy. <laughs> Oh yeah. Knives. Tommy. Oh no, nah, no. Nah. So I haven't got the pictures yet, um of what, what you got stabbed with, hey. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll I ask her. I'll ask her for them. Like a, where the they rush me, they stab me in the face. Like I got that one. I said that was her. I said where I stabbed some fool fourteen, forty-eight times. It says it all right there, and it's short. I even sent her pictures of the guy. I'll stabbed up. Oh yes, wait. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I'll get I'll get them off her. Yeah, she did say she was sending some more stuff, but um. Like she wrote it, but then it didn't come. It didn't come through. She might have um, forgot to attach them to the email. But I'll, def I'll definitely, oh, I'll definitely, I'll definitely hit her up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. And, and, so you want me to? You want me to call next Monday then? Yeah, but continue now. Continue now. Like where we're at. Okay. Okay. So we're at um. Okay. That's cool. All right. Yeah. So yeah, like. I'll well, yeah, we're saying that everybody was like, I, I want to, okay. So like I was saying, like, um, it's crazy because the, the, the way I was, was just, I was violent. Like, that was my thing. People had drugs. People were, like, 
had wars, they had dope, whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some people were like, I like violence. That was my shit. Yeah, you yeah. Know? I got like, it, yeah. I, everything, everything, that I, everything that I did in and in violence, I don't care. Like, if it were just like, hey, let's just go push up on that whole that about the money. You know, at the end of the day, I'm going to smack you. I'm going to beat the fuck at you. And then I'm going to take the money. Like, yeah. That was my shit. That was my thinking. You know, my, my, th- my thinking was messed up because, uh, you know, like, in the end, my pain, our family became everybody's pain. And everybody's pain became my pain. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I did not care about like, I was, I was throwing it out on everybody. I wanted everybody to suffer. Yeah. You know? Like, so. I was, I was similar. I was similar. I ended up, I ended up good. Yeah, I was similar to you a I, little bit, but not, not as hectic, like, not as crazy. <laughs> Where I'd take everyone's shit off them and, and yeah. pump everyone, you know, put yeah. holes in people. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and any, but anything, though. Let's say, like, I'm walking, well, me and you are walking down the street, and we see some dude right here, and... He looks like he has money on him. Like, we could just walk up and be like, hey, give me your money. And he's going to see us and hand over his, his money. Yeah. Right? But me being an idiot, me being an idiot, I want to hurt this guy too. Yeah. For no reason. For no reason just to hurt the guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, it's fucked up. Now that I sit here, you know, now that I sit here, like, now I tell my wife. To this day, I tell her, like, hey, this is fucking starting to affect me. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it does really when you get older. Now, like, now it's hard to close my... It's, it's hard to close my eyes now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's hard to, like, like I see shit. You know what I'm saying? I see, I see like, the stuff that I did right before I did it, the look in their faces before I did it. Like, yeah. that shit's affecting me, homes. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's not good, dog. But anyway, like, so, I, I, after that, like, after I got just into the hood, um, like, right after that, I'm talking about maybe, like, two weeks after that, right? My homeboy dreamer. Like five feet apart, 
and what I think are sweet gang, and they're like, Tom Cristiano, when I fuck Tom Cristiano, my homeboy puppet throws the, um, my homeboy puppet throws the ashtray at a home, and he hits one of them in the head, or the fool that got hit in the head, he moved out the way, and he was covering some fool with a pistol, so this fool, he shoots into the floor, he aims, and it will not work, he aims it, like, directly at me from, like, five feet away, and it clicks, so he brings it down and starts fucking with, like, 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 the slide, and it goes off, boom, and shoots off into the floor, and he starts bringing it up, boom, 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 he's bringing it up at an angle, shooting at us from five feet away, and then, so we turn, and we start running through the alley, right, and I fall, I was like, when you're, with, like, that's something people really don't know, when you're so overcome with fear, like, your, your body, it, like, takes over, and it's like, you start tripping on yourself, you yeah. start fucking falling, it's weird as hell, right, so, I'm, I fell on the floor, I thought I got shot in the back, right, yeah. But I just fell on the floor. I crawled under the car and I went through these little, the, uh, the little alleys that separate the houses. And I ran over to my old boy Spanky's house, right? And I start taking my shirt off. These fools drove away, right? So I start taking my shirt off. I'm thinking everybody's good. Puppet, I don't know where he went, right? But he was right next to me. Um, Creeper, he comes through like the alley that separates the house and he's, he's hunched over. And I was like, Creeper, what's up, fool? I'm not getting my shot on my shot. I'm more worried about me. He walks his teeth down and say nothing. He goes to his knees and just and, and he puts his like on, on fours. He has his hands out and he's on his knees. And he's like he's like gasping with air. He got shot in the back. Oh like, shit. And I'm like, oh fuck, this is the first this is the first time I've ever seen someone get shot. So I go and I I let's call Android telephone number will be monitored and recorded. Now I'm going to, my uncle took it and the wicked one I was telling you guys about. That's his brother. Well, they have another brother named Spanky that lives right next to him, right? So he, we're at Spanky's house now. Well, I knock over a potted plant because it has like a, a wash pot right there. And I wipe. He has a tiny ass bullet hole in his back, right? And I wipe it. It's not bleeding at all. I wipe it. It starts pouring blood on me. So I'm like, holy shit. So I start pushing like real, I push his stomach and his back together and I start pushing as hard as possible. And I'm telling the dreamer, it's all right, boo, you're going to be okay. And he can't even talk. He's just quiet the whole time, like going, Shit. right? And I'm holding yeah. it in. Well, then it's like, it's like, it's pouring out more than what I have. So what I do is I grab him, right? And I lay him, like, on top of me where his back is on my stomach now, right? And I'm gripping him as hard as I can, right? I'm gripping him. Well, then his brother Wicked comes up and he has, like, he's like, what's going on? I was like, I'm putting his dreamer. And then Spanky comes out, and I was like, oh, he's like, I just called the ambulance, and it took him forever. And they're like, hey, rascal, go, go, because they already know, like, if a cop comes, I'm going to get arrested. Yeah. So I was like, man, I'm not going to leave him. They're like, you got you got to go, you got to go. And I was like, fuck, homie. So the cops end up coming, right? They take, they end up finding out who I am, and they fucking, they, they come, we well, were going to throw him in the back of the truck. The homie Spanky was like, hey, this took you forever. Right? Like, I'm telling you, like, the cops... And, uh, uh, like, if it's an emergency, it takes forever to get to where I'm from. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, they do not want to go down Baker. Yeah. You know, they'll, they'll, like, go around it, and then, you know what I'm saying, and, and like, ask the cops to move that person over there to the, to the next street because they don't want to drive down Baker. So, they end up coming. We're, like, they're throwing me in the back of the truck where they end up coming, right? And they they get me, and they put me in the back because they're already worn out for my room, right? So, they put me in the back, and they take me to the police station, right? Right, and I'm tripping, I'm tripping. And then the cops walk in, and Detective Limon, and he's like, hey, Brad's I'm like, what's up? He's like, hey, uh, you know, I'm a dreamer. I was like, yeah, what's up, what's up, what's up with them? And he's like, hey, he died. And I was like, what the fuck? No, he didn't, he got shot in his back. They're like, yeah, it, it, he got shot with the 22, and it hit him in the, it, when he, they shot him in the back, it hit his rib, bounced all over him, and got lodged in his heart, he died. He's like, that's how he could have talked to you. And I was like, what the fuck? So I went to juvenile hall with that. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I didn't, like, I, 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 they, I was able, I was able to get to a group home and run away, like, maybe, like, a week later. And I was able to make his funeral. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. when we ended up, I was able to make his funeral. So I was, like, two days, I, I was able to make it two days before. And, like, it was, like, a whole procession all the way down. Like, they had to stop freeways, homie, because all the homies were coming. And then we ended up going and, and I feel so bad, dog, because, like, when we went to his lake, his mom was right there, and his, his mom has four kids off on Baker Street, right? And she was crying, 
and like there's nothing I can say, you know, like hey, you know, hey, your son gave his life for the hood, but like what is that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, street, your 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 kid died, and he didn't even want to come to Baker in the first place. You know, he wanted to stay away from that. So we just talked him into it, and we didn't even know that my homie Scrappy, my homie Scrappy, that day went and fucking beat the fuck out of somebody inside a 99 cent store, marked him out in front of his girl, and that you know, and then. That fool went, got, gathered all his homeboys, and that's who came and killed, killed a uh, dreamer. Then he was right there. Yeah, and Scrappy didn't even come by and let us know that he did this, so we never even expected it. You know, so. Yeah. But anyways, we get to the wig, and then I'm telling his mom, like, I'm sorry, you know, and she got to go me, well, she's really nice, and she gave me a hug, right? I saw crying. And then, um, I'm only 13 at the time, but we ended up going to the funeral, right? And at the funeral, and my kid's pretty low, because at the wake, I'm going to go back to that, because at the wake, like, it's both. Sweet, bro. On, on Monday at one o'clock. Yeah. Oh, you're to the, this time one on uh, Monday. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Rascal, how crazy is that? 13 years old. He's 13 by now. We're only up to when he's 13. The the stories and the um like the crazy stuff this guy's been through. To be abandoned as a child too, because they can't deal with him. Um they don't want to pay for the meds or something. His dad got um aid from a from a from drug usage. Um his his mum was a gangbanger. Just out fucking I don't know if she's in a um Female gang or what, bro? But this is a fucking pretty hectic story, like insane to be honest. Um, wow, wow. Like I don't even know what to say. Like it, it's sort of like you're watching a movie, you know. Like you hear about that stuff over there, and you think, fuck, you know. And a lot of people say, like, um, you know, like this is the type of shit you think in Mexico. But look, look at that. The cops won't come down the street. Like I remember when I was younger, the cops wouldn't come. Like they'd come, but they wouldn't come by themselves. You know, they. If one car rocked up, they wouldn't get out. No. But this is the type of shit, man. These guys are pushing out bins and fucking shooting at police and fucking... This guy, his mate, bro, 13 years old, doesn't come see him for over a year. Calls him down one day, finally gets him to come there and then gets shot in the back and dies. Like in front of him while he's holding him. Crazy story, guys. But um, yeah, we're going to get on to more of it next week. He's done over 17 stabbings um, just in jail alone. Over 20-something assault. Like all on record, he's got all the paperwork. Gonna send through some um newspaper stuff, so hopefully we'll have that on on here. I'll make sure you get all the information, and we'll get we'll get updates. He's still in um prison till twenty twenty four over there, Corcoran. So we'll get regular updates off him and um see what's happening. I'll drop his socials and his uh YouTube in the thing, so if we can all support him and try and get his channel growing to help with um legal support because he's leaving the gang life behind to go home and be with his wife and have a family, and you know he wants to give that life up. It's very hard to see him go from, um, you know, he's just a product of his environment, really bad area, bad bad parents, sent to foster care, run away. The only people that give him any attention are gangbangers. So he he gets taught like that, you know? Like, who's to blame there? Is he to blame? 
you know, like you can see he has remorse. He feels about his victims from, from when he was younger, you know. He said it's hard for him to shut his eyes at night and stuff. He feels bad for the people that he's hurt in the past. He just wanted attention. He just wanted to feel, you know, as much as he said feared, though, I think he wanted to feel loved, you know, but loved on the streets. He wanted to be known. He wanted to feel important. Um, yeah, so we'll catch up with him soon. Um, thank you. This, this was part two. I would have already dropped part one. Have a good day. Love you all. Yeah, hectic part two. Um, yeah, and it's only going to get more hectic. So keep listening. Keep keep supporting Rascal. Um, we'll keep getting updates off him. Um, I, I, I can put myself in his shoes, you know. I feel like if I was in California and in his position, like I didn't get deserted by my parents and shit. I still had thoughts similar to what he had, even being in Australia. Obviously not as hectic over there. We're not walking around with guns and all that shit, you know. But it, it, it shows that the, the gun laws do work because if they were legal, 100% we'd all be walking around with them. I would have shot heaps of people instead of stabbed. Maybe not. I don't know. It's just, yeah. He stabbed a lot of people too, yeah. He hasn't shot that many, but he's, he's um stabbed quite a few. Which just goes to show that, you know, people that um want to be known for that violence, they really want to get close and show them that, you know, feel that power. And, and that's how it is when you're younger. And that's how it is, you know, not understanding your emotions, your testosterone. And that's why young kids need guidance from people that have been in them shoes and turned it around, you know, because I never in a million years, and I'm sure Rascal would say the same, never in a million years thought that um I would be the guy telling people that that that's not the life you know you got to um learn to learn to deal with your emotions find find better channels f better avenues to to do stuff you know and i feel quite sorry for him 2040 you know he's done 17 years jail already like what the fuck you know since he was a kid just getting put in homes and all that his whole life that's all he knows he's never had a family or love or you know the only family he's known has been gangs and they turned on him so Hard life to live, hard things to deal with. Um, is he to blame? I, I wouldn't blame him. Yeah, he, he feels guilty about some things he'd done and obviously he could have done them different and people say this and, oh, yeah, we're all... You know, he, he could have led a different life and just been shot in the head because people seen him as weak or, st or stabbed up because people seen him as weak. So when you're in that life, you sort of have to be known with that fear. Like, people need to see that fear. Um, They need to have that fear from you so they don't attack you and that's that's why people get, get up there, but... At the end of the day, it's not the life for anyone, I think. And yeah, you can um you can go now, we'll catch up with him soon.